Good morning or afternoon, everyone. My name is Jeremy Walsh, and I'm the Director of Support, Training, and Documentation for BNI Connect. I'd like to welcome everybody to the webinar today. Today's webinar is on building VCP through BNI Connect, and really what we're going to be talking about is your profiles in BNI Connect and how that can really help to increase your VCP on a global scale. Um, one of the great things about BNI Connect is that for the first time in the history of BNI, all BNI members are on the same platform. And we also have the ability to search for other BNI members around the world, look at their profiles, reach out and make contact with them, possibly even develop a referral relationship with them. Not only that, but through the power of the public websites, uh, your chapter websites, your regional websites, as well as the national websites, that's all tied into BNI Connect as well. So your profile is available to anybody in the world 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. However, we need to make sure that we have these profiles filled out properly, and I'm going to give you some strategies and some tips and tricks for doing that today. A couple of housekeeping things before we get started. Um, this webinar is a free webinar, and it is a 30-minute um, webinar. Uh, we're going to be talking again about VCP and BNI Connect. Uh, the webinar is live, so that means if you have any questions as we're going through things in today's webinar, please do feel free to ask those questions as we're going along. I'll be happy to answer them. The best way to do that is through the questions control panel. In addition, this webinar is being recorded so that you're welcome to share this presentation with other members of your chapter or your region. It'll be hosted in a couple of different places after the webinar is over. The first place you can find our recordings is on the support site. So if you click on this question mark here in BNI Connect, it's right below the regional website and options button, this question mark, that will take you over to our support site. And there you'll find our list of upcoming webinars, as well as in chapter training and documentation, you'll find all of the recorded webinar content. And it is done month by month so that you can click on the month and follow up on any of the webinars that you saw or wanted to see during that month. All of our recorded content is also hosted on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash BNI Connect Global. This has not only the recorded webinars, but a ton of additional content up there. For example, we have educational moments that are three to five minute videos that you can use at your chapters if you'd like to. Um, some of them as part of the Get Connected, Stay Connected campaign. We also have messages from Dr. Meisner himself about BNI Connect and lots of other material, again, up on our YouTube channel, which is BNI Connect Global. So let's talk about a VCP today. Now, for those of you that may not know, VCP stands for Visibility plus Credibility equals Profitability. And the fact of the matter is that people are looking to pass you business in BNI and through BNI Connect. What I like to say is that in BNI Connect, we have the unique opportunity to really increase exponentially the power of VCP. And I like to just say that visibility plus credibility multiplied by the power of BNI Connect equals profitability squared. Now, what do we mean by that? Well, you are open to a much larger audience now besides just the members of your chapter. And how do we do that? Well, a couple of different ways. One of those ways is through the regional websites and even the national websites. So, for example, we have our um, test region up here, which is Antarctica, and we have some members up there. Now, what happens is people out there on the Internet may be looking for services. It could be a past BNI member. Um, it could be somebody that had visited the chapter and remembers about a BNI person that they'd like to do some business with. Either way, people are using the regional sites to get in touch with BNI members. So the way they do that, let's say that they go to find a member, and they'll do a search for somebody or for a profession. So uh, I'm going to do a search for Mark up here. And let's see, we have, oh, my good friend Marky Mark. He's up there in the Burr chapter. And if I pull up Marky Mark's profile, it doesn't really give us a whole heck of a lot of information. I mean, we can see that Marky Mark, he's in the Funky Bunch. I can see that he's in the B&I Burr chapter. Um, I can see that he has a phone number, but you know, this really isn't inspiring much credibility. The visibility is kind of there because I was able to find him, but not a whole lot going on from a credibility building perspective. So what we need to do is really make sure that we 
get the information in the hands of the people that are looking for it. Now, let's say um, I'm going to go to my regional website, bniri.com, because I'm here in the Rhode Island region. I'm a member. I've been a member for about 12 years here in Rhode Island. And if I go to find a member, and let's say that somebody's looking for computer services. They get a list of people here, and hopefully they'll click on my name. Now, this is a more complete profile. There's a lot more information here than we found on Marky Mark's profile. It has a business description. It tells people about what my business is. It has my picture. It has my logo. It has what chapter I'm in, of course. It does have all of my phone numbers in which to get in touch with me. My phone number, my direct number, my mobile number, my fax number, my website, if they'd like to click through and read more about my business. It has my address. It also has all of my social media links. So if they'd like to go through and check out my Facebook page or my LinkedIn page or my Twitter feed or the YouTube channel or anything else uh, that they'd like to connect with me on external sources, they can do that through here. They can even send me a message and read more about my TOPS profile, my, my ideal referral, my top product, top problem. So this is accessible to anybody that's using the internet. And the great thing is, is that we also have a BNI America site here in the United States, and other countries have these as well, where you can find a member across the entire United States. So let's say that you're traveling, or let's say that you have a cousin in Idaho that might need some help. Why not look for a BNI member that can fulfill those services? And again, it's the same profile, so I can search by name here or by some type of an industry, and it'll search all across the United States. I get an exact match, and again, we can see my profile here, and it does have all of the same information. Now, what about in BNI Connect? So as a member, you also have the ability to search for people around the globe, and we do that through this magnifying glass up here in the upper right hand corner. And this allows us to search the BNI global directory. And this will search for members from around the world. So again, I can do a search for uh, Marky Mark here. And we can take a look at what his profile looks like to other BNI members. Now with BNI members, we do share more information than we share with the general public. So we can see here's Marky Mark's profile again, no picture, no logo, um, really not a whole lot of information here. I can see that he doesn't have anything about his bio filled out. I can see his connections, the other people that he's connected to in his chapter. Unfortunately, nobody's left Marky Mark a testimonial yet. He's not sharing any pictures. He's not participating in any groups. And unfortunately, he hasn't attended much training. So again, not much credibility building going on here. Now let me pull up my own profile here again. So if I do a search for myself here in the BNI directory, I can pull up my profile. And again, it's showing us a little bit more information than was available to the general public. So it does have a little um, status text here, kind of like a, a Facebook message, so to speak. It shows all the different roles that I'm involved with. Gives more of a description about the keywords and things that I'm looking for. Again, it has all my contact information again. But here's the rest of the credibility building information. So we can see the bio. I can read the 60-second presentations. I can read the gains profile, the tops profile. I can see all of the connections and click through and maybe connect with additional people. You can also read all the testimonials that people have left. There's a photo gallery where you can share pictures. They can be personal pictures or pictures about your business. They can even be testimonials that maybe your clients have given you. So all these things can be shared through your profile. In addition, the groups that you're participating in and any training that you've attended regionally or nationally. These will all appear, and again, these are credibility building pieces of your profile. So if I go back to my home page, how do we really update all of this information and where does it go? So to update your profile, a couple of ways you can do that. All you need to do is on your home page here, you can click on update profile my BNI page. If you'd like to, you can also click on the options button and go to my account. Both of those links will take you to the same place. 
Now once you're in your account or your profile, you'll notice that it's broken into a number of tabs here. The tabs are across the top. We have our main profile tab, our user profile tab. We have our contact details tab. We have our account settings tab, the bio. If you are a director consultant or ambassador or regional admin, you would have a director profile as well where you can put director specific information in. And you also have your training history. So let's look through each of these tabs and see what kind of information we can put in there and where it shows up. So the first section here is just really your your name and company name. So it does have the ability to put your first and last name in. Um, in some places you can change this directly by clicking the edit button. In some places you do need to send in a request um, because it is part of the application and therefore a legal document that needs to be changed. And the same is true for your company name. Now the VAT reference number, um, we don't have to use that here in the United States, uh, but VAT stands for Value Added Tax. It's for all intents and purposes the sales tax that a lot of other countries uh, have. Um, in some countries it is a legal requirement to have this listed as part of your business profile. Um, so that's why this field is here. Here in the United States we can safely ignore that particular field. Your industry and classification, uh, those, were, those are the uh, best matches based on what you submitted when you submitted your application for your chapter. Uh, those cannot be changed by you. Um, if those are incorrect or you think there might be a better match in the database, uh, do please talk to your regional office and they'll be able to make those adjustments for you. It also shows what chapter you're in and the status of your membership, whether you're active or late. Now we get into some of the customized information that you might want to spend some time putting into BNI Connect. So this first field here is the My Business field. And the My Business field is something that is going to show up on both the public website, so your public profile, as well as your BNI directory, so just to other BNI members. So that information shows up in both places. So you do want to choose your words somewhat carefully here. The My BNI business, the way that I look at this is it's kind of like an, an elevator pitch, if you will. Um, think about when you have open networking at your chapter meetings. And there may be a visitor that comes for the first time to one of your chapter meetings. How would you describe your business to that visitor in just a couple of sentences? Now, this does give you the ability to put quite a few words in there. But the fact is that most people, when they view an online profile or they get to a website and they're looking at things, they're really only going to read the first couple of sentences. So you want to make sure that this, this is a very powerful message that you're putting out there to the people that are reading your profile. So again, short and sweet, I'd say no more than a paragraph, uh, a describing your business to some, somebody that knows nothing about you or what you do. The second field on here is the keywords. Now, keywords are incredibly important in the system. You'll notice on the regional websites and on the BNI directory that people can search on any number of, of different things when they're doing that search. They might be searching by name, but more than likely, unless you are looking for a specific person, you're not going to know their name yet. You might just be looking for you know, a massage therapist in Florida. Or maybe you're looking for a bookkeeper in Boise, or you know, maybe lawn care in you know, Massachusetts. That's where it's really important to put the keywords into your profile so that people can find you even when they don't know your name. Some good ideas for keywords. Um, Think about what your industry and classification are. Now these are going to be searched automatically, but you want to expand upon that just a little bit. So what other things do you do in your business that you want to be found for? This is limited to 200 characters, um, so you do need to be selective about what you put in there. Another um, Another hint for putting in keywords is it doesn't just have to be about services. Um, there are other techniques here as well. You know, one example is that, again, I'm a member in Rhode Island. Um, for those of you that may not know, Rhode Island is a tiny, 
tiny little state. Um, it's about the size of some major cities out there. It's only 20 miles wide by 40 miles long. What that means is that most businesses in Rhode Island, they end up doing business in the neighboring parts of, uh, of the nearby states as well. So, for example, Massachusetts and Connecticut. Now, when people do a search for computer services, if they put in Rhode Island, they're going to find me. But if they put in Massachusetts, they're not going to find me. So what I want to make sure that I do is put in other locations for where I'd like to be found as well. So in here you can see that I put in Massachusetts and Connecticut so that people will find me in those searches online. This works for bigger places as well. So um, I know we have some people on the call here today that are in, um, I know we have somebody here from Texas today, we have somebody from Arizona, um, may even have somebody on the call here from California. Those are really, really big states. So you may not do business if you live in San Diego. You may not do business in San Francisco because it's just uh, too far away to be able to effectively get there. What you may want to do in that case is to put other cities or areas that you do business in. Because if you live in, let's say, San Diego, if they do a search for your type of business in San Diego, they're going to find you. But let's say that you do business in Los Angeles as well, which isn't too far away. They're not going to find you in Los Angeles because that's not part of your address settings. So you may want to put other cities or towns in there or areas um, in order to be found there as well. Now, if you make any changes to this page, you do want to make sure you click the Update button. Now, the updates happen immediately. So if I make changes to my business description and I click update, those will appear on the website right away. So Gary asks a great question. He says, how about other countries like Manila, Philippines, Australia? Absolutely. Uh, countries work as well, um, especially in Europe. If you're, uh, if you're in Germany and you do business in France and the Netherlands as well, um, I would highly recommend putting in other countries that you do business in. Um, as well as states or cities or areas. So that's a great um, suggestion there, Gary. So it is a free text field, by the way, so you can put whatever you'd like in there. Um, one other hint that I have is to put different permutations of words. Um, so if you're in the accounting bookkeeping industry, you may want to put bookkeeper as well as bookkeeping so that you're found for both of those search terms. All right, any other questions on the first tab, this main profile page? All right, again, make sure you click Update, and you'll see a little saved thing appear briefly on the bottom of the page. So the next tab over, this is your, your basically your account details, your user profile tab. If you'd like to change your username, you are welcome to change your username to use whatever you'd like. You can also use the change password if you'd like to set a new password for yourself. Um, the memorable question and answer are what you would use if you forget your password. You get to define that question and answer for yourself, but it is important to know that it is uh, case sensitive. So what will happen is, let's say that I go to log in to BNI Connect and I can't remember my username and password, I could click on forgot password or username. I just need to put in my email address that is in the system, type in the CAPTCHA code, and it will do a search in the system based on my email address. So it will then ask me my secret question of which I need to answer that correctly. If I answer it correctly, then it will allow me to change my password and log into the system. You can also choose your language. Uh, keep in mind, please, that there are uh, a dozen different versions of English as well as a number of other languages. Um, so do make sure that you're using the right version of English if you're here in the United States. That's the English US version. And make sure your time zone is correctly set. You can also upload a new profile image and company logo. To do that, click on the Change button on either of them. 
This will bring you to the Profile Upload page. Let's say I'd like to change my logo. I can click on the magnifying glass here, and I'm going to go find a new logo. And let's say I'd like to use this uh, white logo now. I can then choose to crop this if I'd like to, or if I like the way it is, I'm just going to click Save. And now my new logo will appear on my profile. The next tab over is the Contact Details. And what you want to do is to make sure that you have the first two things checked off right away, which is to make sure that you're found on the BNI public websites and on the national website as well. So this way then when people are doing searches for your industry, you will be found there. You also have all of your contact details that you can list here, your phone number, your direct number, home, mobile, page, or voicemail, toll-free, fax, all of those different phone numbers, and you can choose which ones are shown on the public websites. You can change your email address at any time if you'd like to. You can put in a different one if you uh, move from Gmail to AOL to Yahoo to your own personal domain. You can change that email at any time and your website as well as all of your social media links. There are eh, about a dozen or so different social media links that you can put in. Getting down to the bottom of the page, this is just your address details where you can put in your address. You can choose which of your addresses will appear on the BNI website. So you can choose your main address or your billing address or you can choose to hide your address altogether. For those of you that might have a business out of your home um, and you don't necessarily want to share your personal address with the rest of the world, uh, you can either choose to not show it or if you'd like to still show um, most of the information, what I'd recommend doing is doing something like by appointment only or something like that as the first line of the address. As usual, if you made any changes, be sure to click the Update button at the bottom of the page. Now the next tab is the is really it's your preferences when it comes to communications in BNI Connect, and that's the Account Settings tab. Now on the Contact Details tab, this is what's appearing on the public websites. On the Account Settings tab, this is your member to member. So when people look at your profile, when they find you using the BNI directory, as I mentioned before, we share some additional information with other BNI members, and you can choose which of that information you're sharing. So this has to do with the different tabs of your profile, your Connections tab, your Testimonials tab, your Picture Gallery, um, and which of those tabs you'd like to share with people. You can choose to share those tabs with everyone, with just people you're connected to, or with nobody. If you're participating in the BNI groups, which are the discussion groups in BNI Connect, by the way, another great way to build your visibility and credibility, you can choose how often you'd like to be notified for each of the groups that you're participating in, every time something is done, or once a day, or once a week, or never. Certain social media things within BNI Connect, uh, you can get those notifications forwarded to your email address if you'd like to. Um, for example, we do have an internal messaging system. You can choose to get those messages forwarded to your regular email. You can also get the sent messages forwarded to your regular email. If people send you a connection request, you can choose to have that notification come to your email. And the same thing for recommendation requests. The next tab is the Bio tab, and the Bio tab is really all about you. This is the one tab that's probably going to take a little bit longer to fill out um, because it is quite a bit of information in there. So the first part of this is the Bio. The Bio is, this is the exact same form that your Secretary Treasurer of your chapter may pass out to you before your 10-minute presentation at your chapter. So it's the same information that's on that bio form. Please take some time to fill that out, your years in business, your types of jobs, spouse, children, pets, hobbies and interests, city of residence, 
years in that city, burning desire, something no one knows about you, and your key to success. So do take some time to fill out that information. And I have to update this, as a matter of fact, so I just updated my years in that city. The next section of this is the commercials. You have the ability to write out two commercials about your business. Now, why would we want to put commercials here in BNI Connect? Again, this goes back to the visibility and credibility. One of the great things about the commercials is that if you're sharing your bio tab with people, people can read your commercials as part of your profile. Now that's great because there's 160,000 members in BNI with access to BNI Connect. I can guarantee you that probably 159,950 of them will never be at one of your chapter meetings. However, you have the ability to share your 60-second presentations, your commercials, your weekly presentations with other people throughout the BNI world. Now, if you think back to your member success program, the gains profile is an important piece. It has your goals, accomplishments, interests, networks, and skills. And this is a good thing to have on your profile. We should be doing a gains exchange. We could be reading other people's gains profile before each and every one-to-one -one we have with people. It's a great way to really take that one-to-one -to, -one to the next level and be able to go deeper into conversation. And finally, we have the TOPS profile, and that's the ideal referral, top product, top problem solved, favorite BNI story, and ideal referral partner. Uh, this one, if you have limited time that you can put towards this today, I would say start out with the TOPS profile. And the reason for this is that this shows up on the public websites. So the gains, the commercials, the bio, those are only accessible on the inside of BNI Connect. The TOPS profile shows up on your public profile. So fill this one out first, and that way Google will pick it up and other people will be able to see it. Now, if you're a director, you'll have a director tab as well where you can put your director-specific information in there. And finally, you can review your training history. The training history can only be updated by a regional administrator, so your regional office or your executive director, director consultant. So this is really for your review. If you find that things are missing from this list, please do speak with your regional office, and they'll be able to help you out and get that information up there. And when you're all done, if you'd like to, after you save everything, if you'd like to see your own internal profile, make sure that you click on the bottom of the screen. You can view your profile by clicking on the Profile button. And here you can review all of the information that you put in and how it's going to look to other people. Excellent. We are getting pretty close to the bottom of the hour. Um, again, this has been Building VCP with BNI Connect and how to fill out your profile. Uh, this webinar is being recorded, so please do feel free to go back and review it later. Please share this video with other members of your chapter and with other people in your region. I would like to open it up for any questions, so if you have any questions at all about this or about BNI Connect, I would be happy to help you at this time, uh, whether it's about this VCP process or the profile or about anything else in BNI Connect, um, I'd be happy to answer those questions at this time. And again, I'm always happy to stay on these uh, webinars, even though they're only scheduled for 30 minutes, I'm happy to stay on them as long as people have valid questions, so do feel free to ask away. All right, we do have uh, one question from Steve Elliott. Um, please review testimonials. So we have a testimonial tab on our profile here, but how do we get testimonials or give testimonials to other people? This, those are all done through your connections. So after you've made connections with people, you can give any of your connections testimonials. Now, we do that a couple of different ways. You can either, from your home screen here, click on My Network. And this will bring you into the social media side of BNI Connect. And here I can see the short list of my connections, and I can click Manage to go to my connections. 
I can also, from any screen in BNI Connect, click on Network and then go to Connections. Now the connections are your kind of your internal BNI address book. So people that you've um, met in BNI that you've sent a connection request to. And I can see my list of connections here. And if I click on, let's say, one of their names, I can see all of the information about this person. I can go and I can view their full profile if I'd like to and see more information about them or I can choose to give them a testimonial. I can write out my testimonial here and then it will appear on their profile. Now hopefully people are doing that for you as well. People are leaving you testimonials. If you'd like to review your testimonials, you can then click on the testimonials button up here or go to network testimonials. And from here you can review all the testimonials that you've received. You can choose whether or not to display them on your profile or not, or whether or not you want to delete them entirely. And you can also review any testimonials that you have given to other people. So hopefully that answers your question there, Steve. That is how to give and review testimonials in BNI Connect. Do we have any additional questions? I would love to answer those questions. All right, if there's no additional questions, just a couple of reminders. YouTube.com forward slash BNI Connect Global. That is our repository of all of our videos about BNI Connect, so please do check that out and recommend it to your other chapter members. And also, if you go to Facebook.com forward slash BNI Connect Global, you'll see our Facebook page where we do webinar reminders and tips and tricks and all sorts of things up here on our Facebook channel as well. You'd also can find us on Twitter. Um, our Twitter handle is at BNI Connect. So again, thank you all. Our next scheduled webinar is going to be tomorrow, and that is going to be for leadership teams. So we're going to be going over the leadership team tools and reports in the system and some tips and tricks for people that are in support positions for their chapters. That's going to be at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. So we welcome you and your leadership teams to join us. Please do let your chapters know. A good referral for me is if you found something useful today in today's presentation, um, please invite your members to any of our other free webinars that we host on a monthly basis. And you can see them all up here on the support site or on your regional event calendar. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here today. I look forward to seeing you on a future webinar. Have a wonderful day. Happy connecting.